All right, big story remains Hurricane Dorian off the southeastern United States coastline. We're going to be watching storm surge and flooding is one of our main concerns. Uh, also, some severe weather threats with that. But the latest on Hurricane Dorian from the National Hurricane Center, a Category 2 storm, 105 mile per hour winds. It is moving now a little faster north northwest at 8 miles per hour. But tropical storm warnings from Florida all the way up to North Carolina. Hurricane watch is posted for the eastern portions of North Carolina including the Outer Banks, and then you have those tropical storm watches into parts of Virginia and the Delmarva Peninsula. Very heavy rain expected, maybe some 10 to 15 inch amounts for the coastal communities of South Carolina and North Carolina. Eerily close to the coast, that brings us a prolonged wind event, storm surge, and flooding as you get from the Space Coast of Florida, and again, all the way up into the Carolinas. It is going to be getting closer to the Carolinas and, uh, of course, the Outer Banks. So that could bring us a little more wind potential there. And then eventually, as it pushes away from North Carolina, it gets a little farther away from the coast. But it is a very active pattern right now. We have three named storms, Dorian, Fernand, and also Gabrielle. That one is something we'll have to watch coming off the west coast of Africa. But Fernand, that is a tropical storm. It looks like it'll bring some heavy rain to portions of uh, Mexico and also far southern Texas with maybe some three plus inch tallies there. But we still have some pretty warm conditions in the southern U.S. and southwest.